Salutations friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be reviewing Sacre Noir from House of Matriarch. Now this is supposed to be kind of like an enchanted forest, holly king, just very resinous deep green fragrance and I'm a fan of House of Matriarch and I was really excited when I heard about this fragrance and I saw the notes so I figured I'd pick up a bottle and review it for you guys. So if you'd like to know about this fragrance and then keep watching. like to start off my videos and just kind of let you guys know why I got something, why I didn't got something, or I like to give you guys a disclaimer if something was sent to me. I'm always transparent with you guys. I will always let you guys know when I was sent something to review. Now House of Matriarch is one of those houses that there's very polarizing feelings about them. You either love them or or you do not like them. And I feel specifically on YouTube, people are very vocal about one or the other. Um, so I wanted to start off by talking about this video and this fragrance by giving you guys a disclaimer about how I acquired this fragrance because I feel if you're going to listen to my review and if you're going to take my review serious, you deserve to know that I bought this myself with my own money. <laughs> Completely myself, like I was, read the notes, really super duper excited, and I'm one of those people that likes House of Matriarch a lot. I could easily say one of my favorite houses. So I was really excited for Sacre Noir. I was really, really super duper excited for this. But I know that when it comes to natural perfumery and longevity and things like that, specifically with House of Matriarch's price point, there is a lot of feelings and emotions behind it, both good and bad, and I don't think that anyone is wrong. I feel like people who don't like it, their opinions and experiences are absolutely completely valid. The same th reason for people who like it. So going into this review, when I talk about this fragrance, I'm going to be letting you guys know my opinion on it, but I did want you guys to know that I did buy this with my money. I did pay for it. Christy has never sent me anything to review. So moving forward with that, feel free to let me know in the comments section whether or not you like House of Matriarch or their fragrances. I'm not going to delete any comments because you guys have every right to let me know if you like them or don't like them. And also to like or dislike this video if you guys like me talking about House of Matriarch. That's where the like and dislike button's there. So feel free to do whatever you want. I'm not going to argue with anyone and tell you that you're wrong. And I'm not going to delete any comments. Just go for it. Be honest with me. If you hate it, you hate it, that's fine. But that moving forward, I'm a huge fan of House of Matriarch. I really love Christie's nose. I really love her fragrances. I find that she has a very whimsical, very um, almost mythological way of creating fragrances that I really appreciate. And Sacre Noir is absolutely no exception. Now I'm gonna read you the notes and the little flavor text that goes with this. And I've talked about this types of fragrances before in my channel, and I'll tell you why I really enjoy this. Now the notes in this are, it's got noble woods, incense, exotic spices, um, balsams, oak, and it has a special sugar plum accord. Now if she was creating this with Joseph, if you're unfamiliar with Joseph, think belonging. He has another amazing person in the fragrance community and he's really awesome. I've talked to him a bit. He's really, really nice. And I just really loved this fragrance. So this fragrance is supposed to be, oh, I forgot to read the little flavor text. Um, this is during the darkest night in the darkest hour. The Holly King emerges from the timeless enchanted forest to anoint us with the ancient purpose of the Holly Days, which is to draw us close to one another. Now, what I like most about this fragrance is I didn't even read this or the notes. I mean, I'd read the notes before I uh, pre-ordered it. Um, and I saw Holly and I was really excited. I like things that smell like Christmas trees. I like things that smell sappy and sticky and resinous. And I also really like things that smell like enchanted forces. Like one of my favorite fragrances from Tom Ford is Arabian Oud. Uh, no, an Arabian Wood, not Arabian Oud. Arabian Wood. It's to me smells like an elf forest. I really dig that. And so whenever anything kind of adds a little bit of magic to like woods, I get really excited because I love fairy tales growing up. I still love fairy tales growing up. And there's just something very transportive about taking me back to those days when I would read all those stories about forests that I truly, truly love. It's one of my favorite types of fragrances are kind of those like rich, green, woody forests. And this one does not disappoint. 
the biggest thing I can describe this fragrance is is green. Think of the deepest, darkest, like inkiest green. That's what this smells like. There's a little bit of licorice in the background mixed with the balsam that just takes this to another level. Now the licorice kind of reminds me of like a candy house or like gumdrops that were left on a path for kids to follow so they could go to the gingerbread house and get eaten by the evil witch. I know that sounds really bizarre, right? This is supposed to bring people together and I'm talking about like evil witches eating children, but this kind of smells like that in like a really good way. I really, really love that. There's a stickiness to this. There's a resin to this. That's really, really nice. And the incense and the spices don't do anything other than really kind of make the green note more pronounced. I really appreciate that. Sometimes when you get fragrances and there's a lot of incense and there's a lot of woods and spices, you are kind of left with the same composition. It's a beautiful composition. It's a composition that I really, really love, but incense can be very overpowering and specific spices can be very overpowering. Think like cardamom, coriander, sage. Um, sometimes you'll see even thyme or rosemary in fragrances. Those get very, very strong. So when you see spices and you see incense, you want to make sure that they're all playing nicely with the other notes. And since this is supposed to be a fragrance that's supposed to be like a holly fragrance, you want it to be like a deep, dark, resinous, almost sticky green fragrance. And that is what this is. And the incense and the woods and the spices actually work to elevate and add a little bit of complexity to that green inkiness. It gives it a lot of different layers. It makes it multidimensional. And it adds a little bit of magic and mystery to this fragrance that I really enjoy. Now, I don't know there's licorice or anise in this in the sugar plum accord, but I really love that added little bit of kind of like sticky gumdrop candy to this, which takes it to that enchanted forest from fairy tales and also kind of adds to holidays like you get candy in your um in your stocking or under the tree, but it's not like an everyday new world candy. It's like an old fashioned candy that you would get from yesteryear. And I like the fact that it is kind of that more um, licorice kind of sweet, bitter candy and not like a chocolate or a vanilla. Now, I love Chrissy's vanilla. It's probably one of my favorite vanilla notes, but I kind of am glad that it's more of a kind of a bitter um, candy, again, like licorice or however you would describe licorice. I don't like licorice, but I like smelling licorice. Um, rather than just kind of something sugary, sucrose, fructose, overtly sweet or fruity. It works really well with the woods and the balsams. Now this fragrance is magical in a bottle. It smells like a Christmas tree. It smells like an enchanted forest. Obviously, I love the composition of this fragrance. I was not let down. My expectations uh, were definitely exceeded when it comes down to how this fragrance smells. But a lot of times when people have issues with House of Matriarch, they're not so much worried about the smell, although some people don't like natural perfumes. It has more to do with the longevity, so I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit with this fragrance. And the longevity on this fragrance is actually pretty good considering the fact that it is a natural perfume. Natural perfume tends to not have the best longevity. And when you're looking at House of Matriarch and you're looking at the price point, you're paying for the quality of ingredients and natural perfumery isn't cheap. Organs aren't cheap, you guys. And when you're working with naturals, it's definitely not cheap if you wanna have a high quality. Now, not everyone likes natural fragrances. Some people do, some people don't. I'm a huge fan of them. So I have absolutely no issue with them. And I also don't put any um, parameters on longevity other than comparing it to other natural fragrances. So on my skin, I get about four to five hours of wear and you really start losing the fragrance at around four and a half to five hours. I can still pick it up a little bit longer than that, but it's a very faint, it becomes kind of more of a skin scent. But the first few hours, it actually projects quite nicely. It's not very loud, it's not going to fill a room, but it's definitely more of an intimate fragrance about arm's length for the first two to three hours. So for the majority lifespan of this fragrance, people are gonna be able to experience it around you. It is very nice and it wears really beautifully on the skin, but it doesn't last as long as other fragrances do. Do keep that in mind. And at the same time, if you're looking for a very loud fragrance to wear for the holidays, 
I would not recommend this one. It is definitely more intimate. But I really think that's the beauty of this fragrance. I think the beauty of this fragrance is the mystery and the magic behind it, is the fact that you're not gonna fill a room with this fragrance, but with your closest families and friends, they're gonna come in closer because they're gonna wanna smell this. Um, the reason why I think this is a perfect fragrance for the holidays has to do with that licorice note, has to do with that old world holiday type feel that this has. If you look at old postcards, if you look at old illustrations from old Christmases from long, long ago, this is how those would smell. They really would. You see the dark green with the bright red and it's just, it's just, this is a magical, magical fragrance. But you have to like natural perfumery to enjoy this. I can see people trying this and being a little bit turned off by it if they're not into very resinous, sticky green. And you really have to wear this on your skin to get all those little nuances of the spices and the incense and that beautiful licorice note that really kind of works to elevate the sticky green resinous uh, beauty that this fragrance has. I would definitely not recommend blind buying this, especially if you are unfamiliar with Natural Perfumery or House of Matriarch, but if you are familiar and a fan and you're looking for something that would be beautiful to wear um, during the holidays, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And since it is limited edition, I would recommend jumping on it as soon as you can. So overall, I like this fragrance, guys. I genuinely do. I'm really super excited for it. I love fragrances like this. It's very enchanting, magical, and mysterious. I think it's everything that Christy and Joseph wanted it to be, so I'm just absolutely enraptured with it. But as always, guys, I like to know your opinions on these things. And like I said earlier, love or hate House of Matriarch, love or hate Natural Perfumery. When it comes down to fragrances and this channel, you guys are more than allowed to have your opinion and to voice it in the comment section below as well as with the like or dislike button. So I hope you like this video. If you have any more questions on this fragrance, feel free to let me know. If you like videos like this, if you like me reviewing this house, remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you do not, thumbs it down, totally fine, completely up to you but it just lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.